he, to the he track played track. Joker throughout the entire bracket yes. so far. But, <laughs> but you know, versus versus T three Dom, it's a uh, time to play your best character. Yes, bring out the young lad Ike. Yeah, this is the matchup I wanted to see, honestly. So. It's like the two best representatives of their character fighting each other. So you, you always want to see that. Definitely gonna be a fun match, regardless of who comes out on top. And really, I want to see how Raven King is able to overcome the wall and barrage of projectiles that Dom's gonna be throwing out. I mean, obviously, the aerial and big sword that Raven King has can clank with the majority of the projectiles. Um, I don't. I think the Holy Cross will just keep going through, though. Yeah, uh, the cross is definitely one of those moves that can definitely give a lot of characters trouble just because it always comes back, goes through a lot of moves. Very disruptive. But it allows T3 to actually control a certain space within a certain time of it coming back. I mean, when you talk about the space here, look at how much stage control here T3 has already at the ledge of the Raven King fighting from the ledge with a dash attack finally gets it. The thing about Richter is that he can attack from the angles where Ike has his biggest like blind spot. Like that uh that lower diagonal, you know, where he's just supposed to follow the area. He doesn't actually have to be there most of the time. But the thing is about Ike, he just needs one hit. It just goes so far. Yeah, that's right. So, like just look at the position they're in right now. We saw a dash attack cross up Raven King and the an up smash even from center stage on town and city. That's scary. You don't want to get hit by that from someone as beefy as like yeah well i'm i'm looking more towards these ledge traps once raven king puts t3 dom off stage it's only happened a few Ooh, times there's the cross into the axe though yeah. in this situation where like if ike is kind of damned if he does damned if he doesn't right? neutral get up you face the cross maybe some shield pressure you jump you face the axe so you have to ask yourself was the roll even the call there because even then t3 can cover that with the forward tilt Unfortunately, though, he cannot cover the upper that Raven King manages to find here. 24% to zero. Yeah, pretty greedy on uh, Dom's part to go for that down air there. Not the best trade, but uh, still continuing to hold the stage down, making it really difficult for Raven King to approach you. Okay, sneaks in that dash attack. He's trying to shark his landings, but yeah, Team Dom is right now being very yeah. tricky. And you gotta watch that new ether. Very, ether. very good move now. And that's more important. Can I get more Aethers out of shield too? Like, T3 Dawn's obviously crossing up Raven King. And I just want to see Ike turn around and hit him with a big sword. The way it works now, his up BI shield is very similar to Cloud's. Yeah. It might be a little bit better in some aspects just because of how much armor it has now. And Cloud has nothing now. <laughs> it may still good. Don't worry, he's still good. At least you oh, got Take your lives out of here. <laughs> Oh, nice air from the ledge. That was yeah. He uh, jumped over the holy water there to get that air to work. Oh, wasn't ready for the axe though. Okay, he's trying to get pinned to the other side of the stage. He wasn't That's watching that cross. Thought he would be safe right. going to the platform. I mean, yeah, okay. Dom always, always is ready to follow up after that. That was yeah. a sneaky play from Dom. He threw the cross at the angle where it looks like, yeah, you know, it's really unsure whether it's gonna go through or under the platform a little. And it actually clips inside the platform, cutting through it like a buzzsaw and setting up Raven King for his demise. Yeah, really recovery there as well from my uh, T3 Dom. The one thing that I noticed that T3 is doing really, really, really excellent at is making sure that if Raven King has to be in the air, there is something stopping him from doing so. And it's usually cross or axe, and occasionally yeah. it's the fact that T3 covers the aerial with an angle forward tilt. So, oh, I'm sorry, with an angled aerial, and that doesn't let Raven King usually go for the high pressure he would see Ike go for with the same with the snares and the tomahawk rats. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying earlier that Richter just throws out moves in that perfect blind spot of Ike where he just can't do much. Yeah. And, and when you think about the design of the character of Ike and how he plays an ultimate, right, that's kind of eliminating the character's big Ooh. Yeah. So you don't try to get here. try to get cheeky with the uh, cross setup at the ledge. Um, everything not falling for it though, covering that air dodge. Great pivot grab on the landing, big combo for Ike. Oh, yeah, there falling there. The big, there the big thing about falling air is like it'll actually hit through the fire, like whether it's in front of him or behind him. And oh, okay, here we go. Holy Cross, Raymond King, covering low. Got clipped up the ledge. He's getting pummeled by every projectile right now. Oh my goodness. But 
He's Watch out, Rage Jack. Rage Jack only needs a few openings here. Oh, nice. severe. 77. Okay, he's using the cross to cover his recovery. Oh, oh there. Nice. Oh, back here. Deep nice. on stage. Very recovery. Save that jump. Bump. You save that jump. Oh, nice. the pivot. F tilt to cover the roll. Bang him a little bit with the tiny little dash dance back and forth. And then uh, catching that F tilt. Very, very fast move. Very safe move from Richter. But uh, still, that was anyone's game at the end. Uh, Raven King was bringing that all the way back. Yeah, I mean, it's it's how the, it's how the people would say it. Raven King popped off at the last second when it mattered the most. I mean, it gets, goes to show that even if you can eliminate Ike's game plan, his neutral, and pick that apart, once he actually manages to get in, like Z-Fly says, with neutral air, because you don't have to worry for Holy Water, that does cause a lot of damage. And I mentioned earlier how the Belmonts struggle in close quarters combat. Yeah, that's why, you know, if Don can help it, he's not even trying to box like at all, really. But uh, let's, see, let's see what happens here. I definitely can see this going to game three, just judging off of how well Raven King was adjusting at the end of that game. Very interesting to see this matchup, though. Have, like I haven't seen it before, and it's like the two best players of the character fighting each other. So it's cool. I'm not even sure if I can definitely say this may or may not be the first time that I personally have heard of that they've ever met. So it's also interesting to see because I'm sure they've never played from my perspective. But I, I don't. It's really hard to keep track of every single wife for tournament every day. So if yeah. anybody in the chat knows, definitely Three, please let us know. Two. I don't know if they played, just because, yeah, like, Dom doesn't interact with any Wi-Fi turns as Raven King does. But, let's see, Town and City, I think he just wants more platforms to avoid the projectiles and maybe mix up his approach. Because uh, the platform is going to cover that area, that uh, Ike's blind spot, pretty well. And if he gets a hit, the platform extensions are going to be very, very strong. Okay, he DI'd in towards the stage, so he doesn't Peak of the devil. Him. But yeah, oh my god, up he's aired. being juggled for his life right now. Oh, and it's really good to from Raven King's positioning, right? You look at where he was versus T3 in that situation, right? Hitting him with another upper because T3 knows, I go off stage, fighting Ike when I'm already plus 70 is going to be difficult because he hits me with a back air, reads my roll, and it could be curtains there. So that was good stuff on not only T3 to understand like, hold on, I might have to actually eat another up air rather than resetting off the stage. Yeah, <laughs> and they buffed that dash attack, so it was already strong before, but now it's definitely going to kill that percent. You see Raven King you know, getting his combo starter again, seeing it there, but not able to follow up T3 Dom answering back. Let's see how Dom plays in this situation now that he's uh, behind for the first time, really. I think this is like the best in case scenario right here for uh, Raven King. He doesn't really have to approach as hard as he did before. So he can focus on like getting the chip damage and avoiding the projectiles. But there's a big dash attack to catch the landing. Okay. Oh, there's the LB. Not gonna be enough to kill, but put him in a pretty difficult spot. Watch the shield though. Fall Ooh, there. there's the Fall shield. There. Yeah, the platform assist as well. Raven King would be really strong in this game. There's another up B, but still like, not enough to kill. Retreat to Ooh. the other side of the stage with a quick draw. Now more pressure onto T3 Dom. He gets the grab out of Aether. That was really good timing for T3 Dom. Yeah, if he messed that up, he was probably dead to the up Or at least put in a really bad spot. Okay, I don't know what these up are from the Dom. Can't tell if they're missing fits or not, but he's definitely got to watch out for that. This spot though here, have him trapped with the ledge. Nice timing on the neutral get up to get through the fire, but still at the corner. to throw him off again. Just oh, keep setting up the ledge trap situation over and over. Yeah, that was good the ledge. Okay. Nice delayed neutral air. Not gonna be enough to catch down here though. Ooh. Rough spot to be in, catches him with the axe. Oh, it's enough to kill! Wow! Yeah, it takes him off the top, and T3 Dom just evaporating whatever lead Raven King had, just slowly chipping away at him. Now, the Holy Cross is out again. Here come the traps. You always gotta, it's very, it's just like the boomerang. You have to be wary of it coming back to hit you, because it like sets up into so many things in the next. Oh! 
down to him before him? Oh. That's no. I think he caught him jumping. He did, he did, he did. Put the down tilt there. Okay. Nice combo. This could be Raven King's oh, He got his jump here. too. Oh, nice. big ether, but he falls out of the last two. Really unfortunate there for Raven King. Okay. Just the punish on that dash attack. Watch out, the cross is coming back. <laughs> Four throw, nice. Sets up all his opportunity here with crosses yet again. But this time Raven King opens big up dash a dash attack. Check. Just staying in T3 Dom's face. He saw a moment of of a recovery for T3 Dom and he took advantage of it. But falling with the nair, but unfortunately for Raven King, the Holy Fire is gonna interrupt him. No combo oh, but that up tilt. What? The platform messed up T3 Dom. He got our team to follow up. But now he's throwing him off stage yet again. Watch oh, out. Oh. That was close, that was close. Oh my god, the downer was so great. Okay. Look at, the the position. Position. Look at the position oh. where he's at. Almost gets the kill here. 129 Oh my god, almost dying in the dash attack. Raven King is gonna go for the point here. No, he's gonna stay on the ledge. Oh, so much pressure here. Dom trying to set up these projectiles. Get some space on the stage. Oh, nice catch with the neutral air. Oh my god, Raven King. By the Holy Cross and now the fire set up. Oh he's gonna interrupt the quick draw. But oh. another quick draw comes out. Okay, watch the platform. I don't know what that eruption was. Uh, mind game. That was all mind games. Oh, <laughs> oh. the jump. The very last hit of the upper. Yeah, Crazy. it was It was the frame before you can actually see Ricker's back air. Uh, good stuff to T3, though. I definitely want to say he played really, really strong. As you can see, like, he did an excellent job of consistently making sure that if he is going to edge guard Ike, He's at a certain space where if Ike tries to come in too aggressive with a forward air or a neutral air, he can effectively punish Ike for overextending himself from the ledge or even just not picking the proper ledge option. So T3 did a really good job holding on the fort. For Raven King here, he pretty much knew once once I hit Richter once, it's almost curtains because his character's landing options are pretty, pretty poor. Yeah, he's pretty much always gonna like try to mix up in line with the downer somewhere. <laughs> okay, so we have TD Dom running it right back to Town City. Not liking how that last game turned out. Very, very close. He could have gone either way. So, uh, he's trying to, you know, reverse his fortune here with his counter pick. Or playing on the same state, I mean. No double up there, but nice damage. Oh, he caught the holy water. Watch out. Again, holy water, we caught. Raven King take, retaking stage control, falling with the nice. nair, catching the roll from the leg. Yep. That uh, nair is very good at catching roll as well. Ooh, the big dash attack, another one. He's been really good at catching T3 down landings with these dash attacks. And again, Raven King uh, is going to be the one to take the first stock. It's Almost got like another one. Yeah, because if T3 does come into the ledge, once again, he has to worry about Raven King. I get the ledge, but also it's a risk reward factor. Do I potentially lose a stock, take more percent to come back on stage rather than playing from the ledge, or do I risk getting red wrong or properly at the ledge when I do make that recovery? It's something that T3 has to make, you know, at a moment's notice. Jumping out of the danger zone that Raven King was putting out, getting away from the nair and throwing out a back air. T3 Dom swinging again, continuing to maintain the stage control, but it's really about cleaning the plate and taking the stock from Raven King that's so dangerous. But, oh. yep, a yeah, very unstable yeah. upbeat. Yeah, very, very greedy. Oh, pop the double jump? Oh, nice, nice. So much interact from Holy Water that gave Raven King the opening that he needed to actually get in. Put 43% here. Now T3 finally some space to breathe. Looking to close the gap here at the ledge. Raven King saves the second jump so he can stall himself in the landing. Oh my goodness, the setup's here. But Raven King caught the holy water. That could have been really good. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god. The Richter special, man. The down air to be off the top. That was the perfect scenario, too. Since he hit him while he's on the platform, he's even closer to the blast zone than normal. So he's gonna die incredibly early there. And now, TV Drone rips another lead away from Baby King. Let's see yeah. if he can close this out or hold on to the lead as long as possible. He's getting tons of setups right now. Red King is just trying to get to the ledge. Oh, he's dead. He's very he's unfortunate. Gone. Like he's a very misspaced directional air dodge. Just the timing from that platform off by just a quarter of a second. And that's what's going to cost him the game.